Hey, welcome back into 611. We continue to track tropical storm Ophelia near hurricane strength. It's four miles an hour in terms of the wind speed shy of hurricane status and is moving to the north northwest at nine miles an hour. But look at the local radar out of Moorhead City. Here's the center and it's in the process of making landfall right now across parts of North Carolina. This will continue tracking northward through North Carolina and continue moving into Virginia. And that's how it looks from our CBS 6 tower cam. It's been a wet and windy morning so far. Let's go in the backyard. You know him, you love him. You can't watch weekday weather without him. Here's Tom Patton. Yes, please. Thank you, Mike. By the way, I'm right under that tower cam right there. So that's where I am. Thank you, Mike, for showing that. Uh, when we talked about this, a lot of times on Facebook, I would say, hey, this is how much rain we'll probably get. People were more excited about getting a lot of rain than a tropical storm worry. So uh, let's show you where the rain has fallen then. It looks like Southeast Virginia so far has gotten most of it. Uh, officially at the airport, we've only gotten about a half an inch so far, but you can see south side areas with over an inch from uh, northern Greensville County around town about a half inch or less in some cases until you go over to maybe the parts of the Middle Peninsula around Saluda, maybe a little bit over an inch. Uh, Powhatan County about four tenths and a little bit more up in eastern or western Spotsylvania, Orange, Louisa, some of those areas close to an inch. But right now Ashland about three tenths. But there's lots of rain yet throughout the day today. Right now we're in a little bit of a break for the rain. It's still pretty windy out here right now, but we can see this rain coming from the West Point area, King and Queen County, parts of Surrey County that'll be moving into Prince George shortly. And you can see See Blackstone crew that's not away and that's going to be moving into Charlotte, Prince Edward County and some of those areas uh, around Kenbridge. You may get a little break pretty soon just from the rain and this rain is moving also back toward the Blue Ridge area from Orange, from Culpeper and some of those areas into Albemarle County out of Fluvanna all moving westward toward the Shenandoah Valley and this is coming off the ocean so we can see from Gloucester down towards Surrey, Southampton. Those are the showers that we'll start to see next around here since all this is coming off the ocean and moving toward the northwest. Wind gusts, uh, we've had a peak gust already at 33. Those will be with us throughout the day today, probably even getting a little stronger at times as Mike will explain to us. And temperatures uh, hovering around 60, probably just pop a few more degrees today and not much more than that. All right, here's Mike with the latest on the track and what we can expect going forward. You know him and you love him. You watch him every weekday, weekend morning. <laughs> Mike Stone. Thank you, Tom. Well, it's in the process of making landfall right now. It's going to move up through North Carolina today and then move through uh, Central Virginia late today into tonight and then move to our northeast tomorrow. There are tropical storm warnings in effect for our entire eastern counties there. Wind gusts at least 40 miles an hour. Parts of the eastern shore could get some gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour. And the same general territory is under a storm surge warning. This is the wall of water that comes in off the water and that'll be about two to four feet above ground level. So some moderate to potentially major flooding possible here. Inland areas that is a coastal flood warning, especially near a lot of the rivers going into today. So sustained winds 15 to 30 today. Some gusts near about 40 in the metro about two to five inches of total rainfall, including what fell last night. Some isolated six inch totals are possible. Could have some additional power outages and there's a very low threat for some severe storms and tornadoes. There's a flood watch in effect for the entire viewing area and this is from the Weather Prediction Center showing us a moderate risk of actually seeing some flooding across central Virginia and we also have a marginal risk for a few isolated tornadoes today, especially near and east of 995. I don't think it's going to be a widespread thing, but we can't rule out a couple and here's the hour by hour forecast. As Tom mentioned, there will be some lulls in there from time to time, but there will be these batches of rain that come in from the south and east turning heavy at times and that'll be with us through this evening and then going into tomorrow we'll have some showers around the morning especially north of I-64 but then that'll move away during the day but we are going to stay kind of cloudy and we are going to have that area of low pressure just kind of lingering off the eastern seaboard this week so staying kind of cloudy and cool for the week ahead with highs in the low 70s overnight lows 55 to 60 and the slight chance of a passing shower